Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie. And welcome to one of the coolest campgrounds in New Zealand. So we have come on a pretty big adventure this time. It is about 10 kilometers from our house to where we're parking up for the night. Um, we have come to the Lake Taupo Holiday Park and Resort here in Taupo. And um, we're just a bit sick of the winter, uh, sick of the cold weather. We just wanted to get somewhere nice where we can relax, maybe swim for a bit and feel like we're in Fiji on a budget, maybe. So we are gonna go check out the pool. Alright, well, good hour and a half spent in the pool. Do you guys have fun? Yep. You have fun? Yep. We're having a quick morning tea break, leaving our togs on. I don't know how we're not going to just spend all day in the pool. It's pretty choice. Um, okay, we'll put some togs on you then. Um, there's a playground here, jumping pillows, a pump track, heaps of stuff we'll probably check out this afternoon. There's a mini golf. A mini golf. But yeah. There's two playgrounds. Two playgrounds? Two jumping pillows. Two playgrounds, two jumping pillows. And there's a trampoline. And a trampoline. So we'll check all that out I think after lunch. We're going to get all our swimming in. There's also a big screen TV in that pool which is pretty cool. And they played the rugby this morning. The Rugby World Cup's on. There was a game at 7.15 this morning which I watched in bed. But um, you could have gone over to the pool and watched it. Warriors are playing tonight. Movie every night as well. This place is seriously massive. I'll insert a shot here of the campground map. Um, strange because all the campsites are in the thousands. It's not like one, two, three, four. It's like thousand and one a thousand and two so it's kind of hard to see how many campsites there are but yeah one of those spots I mean we're September now we've got school holidays coming up I imagine it's busy school holidays and summer would just be cranking but cool spot that swimming pool has a swim up bar that opens later in the afternoon you can swim up sit on a stool that's under the water order drinks um, which they just charge back to your credit card which is kind of cool there's a little cafe pop-up cafe uh, under a gazebo next to the pool that does ice creams as well um yeah really cool there's two water slides obviously and spa pool that cave that four meter deep cave as well which is amazing so yeah i think we're just going to enjoy it we're gonna we've got no plans <laughs> which is kind of good we're not going to go to town and explore obviously because this is our hometown um so we don't need to leave the campground until we need to check out tomorrow and back to the pools we go <laughs> All right, and just like that, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> so we've been swimming all morning. It's kind of an um, interesting pool. It's like not heavy on the chlorine. I think it must be salted because you leave feeling quite salty and dry, kind of like the ocean, but not bad, good spot. Um, we just found the pump track, which is pretty cool. These, I've seen a few of these around the country. Parklife.co.nz, they do these pop-up pump tracks. That's pretty cool, mini golf, playground, jumping pillow. This is kind of like the kid's corner, I guess. So. Yeah, I think kids will have a bike and then we'll have a look around the campground because um, it looks like it just goes on and on forever. <laughs> Down towards the bottom there's like a lower area of the campground, there's a whole nother playground and jumping pillow and heaps of amenities and stuff. So we'll go for a wander I think, dinner and then probably back into the pool. <laughs> They're actually really nice um, grounds, big sites, level. Um, something I've never seen before, which is quite cool, is they have these buildings down here and there's a building. So there's four sites in a grid and in the middle of the corner of the middle of those four sites is a building that has four separate en suites. So it's like divided into quarters and it's a en, en suite 
sites. So if you're tenting but you want power and you want a toilet and shower, you've got your own corner of that building, whichever that faces your site. I did a terrible job of explaining that, but yeah, ensuite site's pretty cool. But yeah, pretty amazing. It's quite quiet being um, September, but you imagine January, February, Christmas here, it'd be pretty, pretty busy. Ripper of a day. Ripper? Do I say ripper? Good day today. Um, we're cooked. Yeah. Sunburnt. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many times we went to the pool today. Maybe four. Um, I think at least four. We'd planned to go back after dinner and Piper just sat there at dinner time, six o'clock, like nodding off. So we thought we'll go back up because the pool's actually open until I think nine. Um, I thought we'll go up, we'll swim. It's probably all lit up. It probably looks quite cool, but there was no way. And what's well, probably like... Seven it's seven o'clock now and we're about to go to bed have a cup of tea and go to bed but i think it was just what we needed um it was nice to kind of just chill and relax and we got way too much sun as you can probably tell it's yeah start of spring who'd have thought yeah we've not been thinking about the sun much all winter because it's been so miserable but yeah it was really nice i think mm -hmm. um a bit of a, a reset from all the work we've been doing at home and yeah just that kind of winter that end of winter grind you get into where it's a bit yeah yeah but whatever we've been packing in a lot of jobs every day mm. and not a lot of fun hanging out time with the kids so yeah we needed it so i think in spring and definitely the school holidays we're going to um go away in the caravan a bit more i think ease back a little bit on some of the jobs um our trees are booked to come down at our property in a little over a month maybe a month so that's going to be a heap of cleanup so i think yeah, I think we'll chill out here, we'll go on a few more trips, and you start thinking about Christmas holidays, I suppose? <laughs> School holidays first. School holidays, then Christmas holidays. Yeah, but it's been nice, it's been good to get back into the caravan, I think. Mm. Harvey said yesterday, oh no, he said, yeah, he said yesterday when we got here, he said it's, it feels good to be home. Yeah. I was like, what do you mean? And he goes, and Rosie, I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go to bed um, and read and probably be asleep by 8 o'clock and we'll catch up in the morning. Well, good morning. We are bright and early this morning. It's 8am uh, and we're back at the pools. The pool's open at 8. Checkout is at 10, so we figure, what do they give us? An hour and a half in the pools, maybe? Um, yeah, so we're going to go for a swim. Um, and we're going to leave it as late as we can. They, we did get an email last night saying we could pay an extra $50, I think, to check out at 4 o'clock this afternoon. So they mustn't be needing our site tonight, given that it's a Sunday night. So they said, um, yeah, for an extra $50 we could stay for the day, which, I mean, normal campground, that's, that's probably alright, right, with the facilities here. If we wanted a whole day of swimming, $50 probably isn't bad, um, but we've got to get home and get ready for school and we've got grandparents coming over this afternoon. So, yeah, we'll check out at 10 We'll probably start packing up the caravan at quarter to ten maybe <laughs> so yeah we're gonna have a quick dip i might have another look around the place and we'll go from there this video really should just be called bronson and chelsea and the kids go swimming um i was going to title it something like is this the coolest campground in new zealand but yeah all we've done is swim can't complain And just like that, 10.30, we're home. <laughs> <laughs> Quickest trip back yet. Yeah, uh, quite nice because those of you with kids will understand that sometimes a trip on a Sunday night back from a weekend camping with kids is a little bit feral. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we'll get home, we'll mow the lawns. Did you enjoy it? It was really nice. It was nice being able to go to a campground where we weren't rushing out during the day mm. to go and visit as much in the area as we possibly could, like we yeah. normally do. You know, that's Chelsea's idea hometown. of <laughs> we didn't have to go anywhere we could just yeah. sit by the pool Chelsea's the idea pool. of a holiday is sitting by a pool reading a book and I like to get out and do things all the time hence why actually we started this channel because she liked to sit around and read and I wanted to do something he was bored, I was bored. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah I suppose the only uh, downside to that campground probably the price right mm. somewhere around $150 a night for the site we were on with two adults three kids uh, I mean the amenities are just incredible so I suppose if you 
stayed at say a top 10 in Hamner and then you paid to get into the pools you're probably going to spend over that anyway so yeah. I think it was all right from that point of view yeah it was um, well worth it I think yeah. for what we needed from a weekend we all got quite sunburnt mm. it felt like Fiji on a budget yeah. just sitting in the pool all day so we're happy to spend $300 yeah. for the weekend to camp there uh cheaper than Fiji <laughs> all right well um we're going to do a few chores and start planning the next trip. We've got some ideas, some sort of more local spots as well we want to check out. So stay tuned. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See ya.